Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this delicious meal. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please comment and let people know what your girl's doing on her channel. I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this beautiful, healthy, well, semi-healthy meal. Let's get started. I'm making this organic quinoa. I got this from Costco. Um, I made quinoa once before. flavor that salt pepper and garlic powder adds together so I'm just stirring that all and letting it come to a boil so I'm gonna be using this mahi mahi of course it's wild caught which is so much better for you I got this from Kirkland I got this from Kirkland I got this from Costco I marinated all the peppers and onions and thyme um, for a few hours and the refrigerator and it turns out so much better once it's marinated with all the seasonings and peppers and onions and garlic and stuff like that I'm going in with my avocado oil again maybe I think I put a tablespoon oh <laughs> these nails guys I think I put about a couple tablespoons in there I'm gonna let the, um, the oil heat very nicely I love country rock plant butter I'm not gonna use it just yet um, but I don't know why I wanted to show you guys that but I did <laughs> So I'm going in with all the peppers, the onions, the thyme, and I'm just going to fry that up. I like my um, peppers and stuff to be crunchy still, so I'm not caramelizing it too much, but just enough to brown it a little bit. And just to cook it a teeny, teeny bit. Um, and then now I'm going to put that all into a glass pan that I'm going to save everything in with the mahi-mahi. I'm going in now with two tablespoons of butter. I believe maybe a little more than two tablespoons. Gonna let that melt. And then I'm gonna put the fish in. Guys, I see this on the cooking channel all the time, so that's why I did it. I don't know what effect this adds or what it does to the fish, but it turned out good, so I'm gonna keep doing it, but I don't know what that does. I don't know if it's called pan sear. I don't know, but it looked good, so that's why I did it. And now I'm going to cook it for three minutes on each side.
and now we're going to flip it of course it's not real time i had to speed up the video because we don't want a 50 minute video and i'm going to let the butter get all over because butter butter makes everything taste better guys this fish was so good if you guys recreate this please let me know please comment down below let me know what kind of fish you guys like I don't eat shrimp or uh, lobster or crab because I'm allergic, but I love mahi-mahi. Now I'm taking it out of the pan, and I'm squeezing a fresh lemon on um, the, the fish. I love lemon, fresh lemon, lemon juice. Mm, fresh lemon just adds a more, you know, fresh taste to it. I'm using the same pot to... Um, make the sauce so I'm just scraping a little bit now I'm gonna put some chicken broth just a little bit I think it was I don't know I honestly don't know how much I just put in there and I'm using some coconut oil coconut oil coconut milk <laughs> I love this coconut milk because it's so much thicker than the Goya one so I'm stirring it all together I'm adding some Miss Dash well they got divorced so it's just dash come all together nicely this meal is a take your time you know this is a good meal to make for your family make for your girl make for your man you know a nice romantic dish that's semi healthy I'm adding the fish in and this is it just guys I want to tell you this was so good I wish you I can just give you a taste through the through the camera right now but it was super good. I'm just adding some sauce to the top. But yes, this was amazing. This is the final. This is, I had some, I broiled some broccoli. And this is the beautiful mahi-mahi with the peppers and the thyme and the garlic and the sun-dried tomatoes with some Hawaiian rolls, which are amazing. Not healthy, but amazing. And the quinoa on the back. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe.